Now, what you need to do is get some of this air drying clay, cut yourself off about a one centimetre thick piece of the clay, and then knead it with your fingers. And then using Fast Ed's bread roller, start to roll it out. It needs to be around about three mils thick. Now, to get the shape, just use an old plant label. Sit it on the top, and then using a sharp knife, cut around the label. OK, now it's nice and ready. Finish the shaping. You can personalise it. You can create labels using stamp sets from Bunnings. Once you've got the little alphabet stamps out, then you just basically make your mark into the soft clay. Once it's dry, then get some sandpaper and clean up the edges. Now, the next step, a fine paintbrush and some diluted black paint. And then just tap the brush in and then very carefully drop a little bit of black paint in. And to make it last longer and make it a bit stronger, give it a spray with the sealer. Paint is also a really easy and quick option if you want to tie together the look of a bunch of mismatched pots. Now, you'll notice, as I'm painting it, I'm not using the Tara Dennis precision line work. In fact, it's a bit chaotic. But that's what we really want, because this is a sort of a textural paint. And the more rough and excess sort of paint you put on, the better it looks later on. So, this time of the year, you've got all the cabbages, collies, broccoli, all the herbs, including sorrel, which is great in salads even during the cooler months of the year. Hopefully, I've encouraged you to get out into the garden and get your hands dirty, get the kids out there and have a heap of fun as well. But even better still, you can enjoy the fruits of your labour of all these herbs and veggies.